Hi dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Seema Dudley. Welcome to my another video on the topic Internet of Things. In this video, we will discuss about the IoT World Forum Model Architecture. By now, we got an idea about IoT and we know that IoT is not just interconnected consumer devices. It is the technology that built systems capable of autonomizing, sensing, and responding to actions from the real world without human intervention. So it is a global technology. In 2014, the IoT WF, that is IoT World Forum Architectural Company, and that committee was led by Cisco, IBM, Rockwell Automation, and others, published a seven-layer IoT architectural reference model. So we can uh, look the uh, IoT reference model, which was set forward by IoT WF Architectural Company in detail. The Internet of Things is a global industry movement that brings together people, process, data, and things to make network connections more relevant and valuable than ever before. Today, more than 99% of things in the world are not connected. By uh, 2020 or 2021, it is estimated that 4.5 billion new people and 37 billion new things will be joined the internet. So in the near future, the growth and convergence of information, people and things on the internet will create unpredictable opportunity for countries, industries and individuals. So the different uh, layers, normally uh, the IoT architecture should comprise about four stages. That is the sensors that uh, it is for collecting data, then data acquisition that is for storing data and pre-processing that is for processing the data uh, to uh, avoid the unwanted message. That means the edge analytics. Then next one is a cloud analytics, that is deep processing. So in the uh, stages are normally, in general, or uh, IoT architecture. But the architect, uh, architecture uh, proposed by IoT World Forum consists of four uh, seven layers. The different layers are physical devices and controllers second one is the connectivity third one is the edge computing then the data accumulation then the data abstraction then application and the seventh layer is collaboration processes we have already mentioned that the iot wf reference model consists of seven layers and uh, some of the advantages by using this w, uh, IoT WF reference model is it simplifies, it clarifies, it identifies and uh, it uh, standardizes and organize. That means it uh, simplifies means it helps break down complex system so that each part is more understandable second one is that it clarifies that means it provides additional information to precisely identify levels of the iot and to establish common terminology third one is it identifies that means it identifies where specific type of processing is optimized across different parts of the system Next one is it standardize. That is, it provides a first step in enabling vendors to create IoT products that work with 
each other. And the last one is it organizes. That means it makes the IoT real and approachable instead of simply conceptual. Okay. So, uh, dream advantages that is it simplifies, clarifies, it identifies, standardizes, and organizes when we use this IoT WF reference model. So the first layer in the IoT reference model is the physical devices and controllers. So the physical devices and controllers layer uh, are known as things of the Internet of Things. Okay, that is, it is known as a different objects. So this is known as the things of the Internet of Things. And uh, the size of these objects can range from almost microscopic sensors to giant machines in a factory. And uh, the primary function of this uh, layer is to uh, generate data. Okay, our data pinnate and the process in the new data use in the new data or data generate here and all the other layer on the mean here. So, in the another different objects on a objection objects and the main function and or another is to generate data. The second layer is the connectivity layer and the connect, uh, communication and connectivity are concentrated in one level that is the level two and the most important function of level two is reliable and timely information transmission and uh, this transmission includes transmission between devices and the network and uh, transmission across the network and uh, transmission between the network and low level information processing system. And uh, one objective of IoT reference model is for communication and processing to be executed by existing networks. And uh, this level relies on existing networks itself. That is, the IoT reference model does not require or indicate creation of a different network and it uh, relies on existing network itself. The third layer is a edge computing layer. The functions of level three are driven by the needs to convert network data flows into information that is suitable for storage and higher level processing at level 4. So, the main function on the level 3 and main function on the uh, uh, no, big data varana uh, divide either storage story and all the data in worth it and next level load up one all the data in separate here and all the or a main function either and this means that level 3 activities focus on high volume data analysis and transformation uh, so sometimes it is also referred as fog computing and uh, one of the basic principles of this reference model is that the information processing is indicated as early as close to the edge of the network as possible. That is why uh, it is sometimes referred to as fog computing. So we were talking about uh, the level three that is the edge computing. And uh, we have told that this uh, in this edge computing, the data will be uh, separated that is whether it is to be stored uh, or it is to be transferred to the next level for processing. And the next upper layers, that is from layer four to seven, 
will be handling the data generated by the bottom layers and also it will be processing that data so one modular three vare ulla layers generate in data layer next layers are working in other so the next layers that is from layer 4 to level 7 will be handling the data that is being generated by the lower layers so the next layer is a data accumulation layer and in this layer it captures the data and stores it so that it is useful by applications when necessary and uh, uh, this layer converts event based data to query based processing The next layer is a layer 5 that is data abstraction layer. In the data abstraction layer, we make sense of data, collecting like information from multiple IoT sensors. And also we confirm that the data set is complete and consolidate data into one place or multiple data stores by using virtualization. And the next layer is uh, the application layer and in this application layer uh, it interprets data using software applications and uh, applications may monitor control and uh, provide reports based on the analysis of data and this layer is self-explanatory and this work control panel and data panel application logic is executed that is monitoring process optimization alarm management statistical analysis control logic logistics consumer patterns are uh, some of the examples of iot applications and the last layer is uh, layer 7 that is the collaboration and the processes layer at this layer application processing is presented to users and uh, data processed at lower layer is integrated into business applications so this layer is about uh, interaction between the human and the iot system the challenge at this layer is to be effectively leverage the value of iot and the layers of infrastructure and services below and leverage this into economic growth business optimization and social good So an assignment question connected with this uh, topic explain the IoT World Forum standardized architecture. Complete the assignment and uh, forward the pictures to the email ID provided to you. Thank you.